Hello, today we're looking at MX Linux 16.1 Beta 1 and as you can see it's as all as quick and ready to go. We are of course created with, created with the welcome screen when you first open up. As it's not the first time without opening it up it wasn't there but that's basically the screen which greets us. And it's all links to like PDFs with lots of information. Just scroll through, you will see there's a lot to read. And if you have time and you want to read through it, go for it. I'm not gonna read through it all now. And the wiki, likewise, it's very cool for all this information and you can click here on applications. And then you can click to lock it back up and then it gives you information. There is so much information here. And it's awesome. It's just overwhelming a bit. And it's all links. I like welcome apps which is like in feels like one app, but it's cool to have a welcome app. And we are learn guys are making a welcome app with lots of information. And here's some nice apps which you can look at to make snapshots, which is awesome. Not many Linux systems give you this option to make snapshots, which is absolutely fantastic. And many other cool things which you should look at if something you want to see. Default look and here's some cool options. You can make a panel horizontal that's applied which is looks great it really looks great or you can make it vertically as it was I'm going to keep it like this you can restore it you can back up your current panel configuration or restore and I got different themes And so yeah, it's, I love how they give different options. Let's go back to the light theme, the first one. And you can give Firefox a dark theme tweak because sometimes in the dark Firefox just looks bad. The writing you can't see. It. So it's good that they got a theme tweak. And they also give it Xchat which I never use also uh, to speak, I presume. So that's pretty cool that they call these things fixing errors with others don't use some settings for the panel. Windows Manager. And appearance. So in general I really like this. You can make it like in different themes here. Color themes, dark themes, light themes, audio themes, different icons, different fonts, and different settings. Very cool. Love it. If we close it here, we can go to forums. I like that it looks like a PDF, but it's most probably just like a link to a, to a website. And I like these PDF fields much more than just links to website. So good, 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 good. And of course, because of videos, it will take us to the internet, which is acceptable by all means. And because it's based on MX16, it's just one point beta one. You can look at videos here. This is very good. Contribute. Please help these guys. They're doing a great job. And time and talent, funds, donations. They deserve it. Popular apps. Let's start with password and see if it's like an app center or what's gonna happen here. Yeah, it's like a place to install apps. It's awesome. If you install Audacity. I love the software center. It looks nice. It's 
easy to use and it's based on Debian APT Kit also works, which is fantastic. So let's continue. I'm gonna switch to the other workspace. Yeah, so this one can work here while we continue to look around. So here we finish with the welcome app. So let's look at the desktop. If you right click on the desktop, it gives us lots of opens, options, open in in the window, create bouncer. You can create a Firefox bouncer, I imagine. But now it's a bit. Yeah. And this is installed for Audacity. On the other side. And. You can create a URL link for, let's say, mail or anything. Just remove it. Write www dot before before a thing yeah. and create a new folder. You can create an empty file. You can run a command. Let's say we run a command called LibreOffice. Pretty neat. MX Linux is so quick, so fast, so easy to understand. It's a great option for any any person to use and I absolutely love it. And I love the default wallpaper also. And it's lover of this 5.2220. So it's pretty much the latest stable release. Not the fresh release, but stable release. Which is very good. Open terminal here, this kernel 4.7, not bad. You can open as a root. It is interesting that you can open systems as a root without having to type your password, which is very interesting. It's not bad, it's just interesting. Find files here. If you click here, then you can like search in your current directory in your file system or in your administration, you like your own folder or any other place you want to look. And here's some settings, which is awesome. Create symbolic link for your desktop, and then you can share it with it anywhere you want. Share a folder on your network. You want to share any folder on your computer. I love all these options. I love all these options here. Here you can choose what you want to share. Desktop settings. Some different wallpapers for us to choose from. Let's choose a butterfly. And yeah, properties give us some extra information. And yes, a link to our menu, same as which we found here. So I will look at it a bit later. And let's look at our bottom panel now. Yes, our calendar. Interesting that it's like not here in the corner, but in the middle. I don't know if I like it, but it's cool, unknown, no removable device, great. Power, fully charged, volume, alarms, that's cool. Internet and Wi Fi will already be here. Uh, running the Firefox, so there's no Wi Fi. Clipman and. That's little boxy. If we click on the panel, we see it is XFCE 4.12. It's pretty much the latest and greatest of the panel. Yeah, here's some more information for us. Oh, and it's Firefox. 
Fifty three. And you can move the windows around. This neat. Let's see if this installation is finished. Yes. And let's close this up. So let's move back to this this panel, this workspace, workspace again. Look out panel preferences. You can configure your panel there, which is quite nice. I love all these options. Move, you can move icons and things around on your panel properties. And of course, you can add new items like a uh, Like what will be system loading it. And then you can see how much power it is. As you can see, it uses about 360 megabytes of RAM when it's just running peacefully. And I got a one core i5 processor installed here, and it's basically nothing, which is awesome. And yeah, so yes, a Firefox icon. Of course, we can remove icons here, we can add icons here. Here's a file system, big suite, Funo 1.6.11. Here's a workplace you can remove, you can add, you can change the icon, you can change the name, you can run around here and enjoy yourself. If you click on it, you see the whisker menu. And of course, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, but let's make it nice and big because it can look all of it easier. Here's our favorites. Of course, you can remove and you can add to desktop, add to panel, and you can add things also to your favorites. That's cool. all as you can see. Quite a lot of things is pre installed. Accessories. You can even take a screenshot, you just saw there. Games, graphics, internet. Yes, um, provision sets, videos from YouTube, that's a cool thing to add to the desktop. Just want to show you how to add things to the desktop also. Lover of us, let's add one to the panel. Oh, there it is. And let's move it. As that. Just wanted to show you how to do it if you don't know. Yes, our system settings, we also got a nice place to look at the top also. And here's some more information, yeah. All about the system. So if you go to the system settings, it's normal XFCE stuff. If you want to have an depth look at each one of these, look in the description of the video. There's a link to my other channel where I only use background music and there's a video, the link will take you directly to the video, where I also look at this version of MX Linux and I look at each one of the settings buttons there. I will not do it to make this video a bit shorter on this video but if you want to have a better look at it look there it's only in background music appearances you can change your appearance here make dark light we've already looked at it on the other side desktop wallpapers and stuff file manager you can configure your file manager here all familiar stuff mx default look we looked at it already System sounds. They got a lot of their own stuff. MX tools. That's what I'm actually looking at here. Notifications you can configure it here. You can configure your calendar here. Panel here. Set your preferred applications. Set, set your screen saver settings. Windows buttons. Windows manager. Windows manager tweaks. Workspaces. Bluetooth you can check it here. Display when you add projectors or extra monitors. Keyboard settings, mouse and touchpad, network, if anything is not perfectly here, just have a look here. Power manager, you can set your power settings, 
is always a good place to look at when you install. You can add printers, network and USB printers. You can configure your removal drafts and media time settings as well as the alternatives config. This means your firewall, G-parted, RAP customizer, your locking screen, you can change the picture and all those things. My tab editor, Samba, if you want to save folders, you can configure the session and start up. You can look at it here. Windows, wireless drivers, you can go and configure it here and then co configure your Adobe Flash, your Java stuff, and your setting editors. Yeah, that's basically it. It's a very nice, very lightweighted, beautiful operating system and absolutely worth having a look at. The lock screen, they can make it look better. And you can switch to users and you can shut your computer. Yeah, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. See you later.